Our congregational song for today will be taken from our gospel hymns and songs, hymn number 116, 116, carry your Bible, carry your Bible with you. Let all its blessings overflow. It will supply you each moment to, to take it wherever you go. Carry the word of pardon. Sweeter each day it will grow. Somewhere some heart will be waiting. Take it wherever you go. Carry the wondrous story. story. Tell it to her as plant in woe. This word of gracious redemption. Take it wherever you go. Carry the word of promise. Sinners unpardoned may know God's path from sin unto safety. Take it wherever you go. Take it wherever you go. Take it wherever you go. God's message of love. Send down from above. Oh, take it wherever you go. Take it to 
asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We're asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The Book of Zechariah. The Book of Zechariah. Chapter 5. Chapter 5. Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. Then the angel that talked with me went forth, and said unto me, Lift up now thine eyes, and see what is this that goeth forth. And I said, What is it? And he said, This is an ephah that goeth forth. He said, Moreover, This is their resemblance through all the earth. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead, and this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the ephah. And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast it into the midst of the ephah, and he cast the weight of the lead upon the mouth thereof. Then lifted I up mine eyes and looked, and behold, there came out two women, and the wind was in their wings, for they had wings like the wings of a stork. And they lifted up the ephah between the earth and the heaven. Then said I to the angel that talked with me, Whither do these bear the ephah? And he said unto me, To build it an house in the land of Shinar, and it shall be established and set there upon her own base. Chapter 6 And I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, there came four chariots out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of brass. In the first chariot were red horses, and in the second chariot black horses, and in the third chariot white horses, and in the fourth chariot grizzled and bay horses. Then I answered and said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these, my lord? And the angel answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of the heavens which go forth from standing before the Lord of all the earth. The black horses which are therein go forth into the north country, and the white go forth after them and the grizzled go forth toward the south country. And the bay went forth, and sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth. And he said, Get you hence, walk to and fro through the earth. So they walked to and fro through the earth. Then cried he upon me, and spake unto me, saying, Behold, these that go toward the north country have quieted my spirit in the north country. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Take of them of the captivity, even of Heldai, of Tobijah, and of Jediah, which are come from Babylon, and come thou the same day, and go into the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah. Then take silver and gold, and make crowns, and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, and speak unto him, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne, and he shall be a priest upon his throne, 
and the counsel of peace shall be between them both. And the crowns shall be to Helam and to Tobijah and to Jediah and to Hen, the son of Zephaniah, for a memorial in the temple of the Lord. And they that are far off shall come and build in the temple of the Lord. And ye shall know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto you. And this shall come to pass if ye will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. Chapter 7. And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius that the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah in the fourth day of the ninth month, even in Chislu, when they had sent unto the house of God Sherezer and Regamelech and their men to pray before the Lord and to speak unto the priests which were in the house of the Lord of hosts and to the prophets, saying, Should I weep in the fifth month, separating myself as I have done these so many years? Then came the word of the Lord of hosts unto me, saying, Speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priests, saying, When ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month, even those seventy years, did ye at all fast unto me, even to me? And when ye did eat, and when ye did drink, did not ye eat for yourselves and drink for yourselves? Should ye not hear the words which the Lord hath cried by the former prophets when Jerusalem was inhabited and in prosperity and the cities thereof round about her when men inhabited the south and the plain? And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment and show mercy and compassions every man to his brother and oppress not the widow nor the fatherless the stranger, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. But they refused to hearken, and pulled away the shoulder, and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law, and the words which the Lord of hosts hath sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it is come to pass, that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, saith the Lord of hosts. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them, that no man passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. You have just listened to the Bible reading, and we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name, we pray.
Praise the Lord. You know, when the introduction comes like that, you think the man is as tall as the ceiling. It is for you. I said it is for you. That same anointing will pass on to you. That same authority passed on to you. And I pray that everything you have heard about me, God will reproduce in your life. It can happen. It will happen. It must happen. You cannot come to the world like this and come to the crusade like this and then just go back. It's so, so Christian. It's so, so person. I'm managing life, tolerating life. Uh -uh. The world will know that you came to this world. And when you leave, you will leave traces of power, of progress, of prosperity. Leave it behind for the rest of the people in Jesus' name. I wish I could come to you personally, but you know this is a crowd, and I have to stay here to preach, but I wish I could come to you personally and take your hand and say, let's go. You are going on to victory in Jesus' name. Let's start our prayer. Father, we thank you tonight and we bless your name for what you've done, for what you are going to do today, what you will continue to do. Lord, our hearts are open. Mind, soul, spirit, heart, we open everything to you. Take the hand of everyone and lead us to a lifetime of dominion. I pray, Lord, you wipe all tears away. Take all sorrow away. And I pray that you will do something definite, unforgettable in every life in Jesus' name. We know you have answered. We will see that answer in every life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can see them tonight. We are coming to a message, special message. God's highway for a lifetime of dominion. Let me explain to you. Dominion is there because God is there. Dominion is available because God is ready. Dominion is for you. Present dominion, perpetual dominion, perfect dominion, a lifetime of dominion. Picture it. It's over there and you are over here. And we need to make a road between you and that dominion. I'll show you in the word of God. And then you can walk uprightly and get to that lifetime of dominion. You understand? In our country, you understand? In our state, that when the produce is in the farm, provision is in the farm to feed the state and to feed the nation. But if there's no road, we cannot get that produce from the farm and get to the people. And the people cannot move on and get to the produce. The thing is there, but there's no road to take us there. That's why you find uh, some governors and our own governor here in Ogun State. Constructing roads road so that the highway will be there to take us and to take the produce to the place it ought to be. And God has done that. Dominion. Help me shout dominion. dominion. A lifetime of dominion. And then the highway. The way of the Lord that he constructs for you to take step 
after step on the road on the highway that the lord himself has made so that you will not miss that dominion in jesus name i'm reading to you from isaiah chapter 35 and we're reading from verse 4 it says in verse 4 say to them that of a fearful heart if you are there you're afraid if you are there you're fretful if you are there you're anxious if you are there you're worried and you say how can i get to that dominion full and free and for a lifetime how can i get there the lord sent me to tell you that tonight is your appointed time yeah. say to them that of a fearful heart be strong fear not behold your god will come with vengeance your god the creator your god the redeemer your god the mighty one the, your god the god that cannot fail it says your god will come tonight the power of god will come the solution to your problem will come tonight the promises of god will be fulfilled in your life in jesus name your god will come with vengeance even god with a recompense he will come and save you are you there you are the reason for the meeting tonight your god will come he will come and save you look at verse 5 then the eyes of the blind shall be opened the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped and then in verse 6 it tells us then shall the lame man leap as an heart and the tongue of the dumb sing for in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert look at verse 7 then it tells us and the parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water in the habitation of dragons where each lay shall grass shall be grass with reeds and rushes and then in verse 8 it says and an highway shall be there an highway made by god and an highway shall be there and highway established by christ and an highway shall be there and highway that is open for you and open for me and open for everyone and those who walk on that highway they get to that dominion i get to that dominion and you get to that dominion tonight in jesus name it says and it shall be called the way of holiness of course you understand it's a holy god in a holy heaven surrounded by holy angels and then the men who have left this world and they have gone holy men and women the streets holy street everything about it there's no defilement there's no sin there's no corruption there holy and because of that the highway and the past that the almighty god the holy god of the holy heaven the highway that he makes shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it but it shall be for those the way fearing men though fools shall not err therein you will not miss that way i said you will not miss that way and then he tells us in verse 9 he says in verse 9 no lion shall be there nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon it shall not be found there but the redeemed of the lord shall walk there that's why the lord is going to get to you tonight he will save you 
it will redeem you it will forgive you it will establish you because the redeemed of the lord shall walk therein and then in verse 10 it says and the ransomed and the saved and the forgiven and the redeemed and the converted the ransomed of the lord shall return and come to zion with songs and everlasting joy 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 happiness gladness the lord will erase everything that had brought sorrow in your heart suffering in your life sickness in your life and then it says you come to zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads they shall obtain joy and gladness who are they they shall obtain that joy and gladness as you link up with Christ tonight the source of all joy and the source of all gladness and the source of all happiness as you link up to Christ tonight it will fill you with joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away and sorrow and suffering shall flee away I was waiting for a bell, because I amen. Yeah. And sorrow and suffering shall flee away. Yeah. And then your life will be a happy life. Yeah. Your family, a happy family. Yeah. And then your life and your life and your and your lifestyle, everything will bring the joy and the gladness of the Lord in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. But you know, but you know, there's an highway. And a highway is constructed that people will take that highway. No matter how good the way is, the road is, expressway. No matter how good an expressway is, if you don't get on that expressway and you have the destination at the end of that expressway, you will remain where you have always been. But it is when you make up your mind, you decide look at the expressway that the lord has made and i get up by decision and then i move on determination and i keep on moving diligence and i don't allow anything to stop me in the way by the grace of god you will get there tonight god's highway not man's highway god's highway for a lifetime of dominion we're dividing the message to three parts number one god's only way for the helpless and the hopeless god's only way it's not made any other way one way only way god's only way for the hopeless and the helpless number two god's open way <clears throat> God has blessed you. God's open way. He opens the way. You know, there are times that a way, an express way, has been made, and then they put a toll gate and close it up. And they say they are setting a date when that way will be open. And they're still deciding on what. The travelers will pay one after the other, but God's way is already open. Open for you to come and enter in because it is open. God's open way to healing and health. Are you there tonight? Blind eyes will open. The deaf ears will hear and the impossible unthinkable will happen in your life you will carry healing health miracle you'll carry that home tonight in jesus name number three god's ordained way of holiness to heaven god's ordained way of holiness to heaven oh somebody said pastor Leave that holiness beat apart. 
Tell us about healing. Tell us about prosperity. Tell us about happy family. Tell us about something on earth. And I say, my friend, you understand? Healing is good only for the earth. Prosperity, money, wealth, good only for the earth. And if all you get from the Lord is healing, healing, healing. Yes, you get healing, but that is for the earth. If you don't get what will take you to heaven, if you get all the healing for 70 years, 80 years, 100 years here, and all eternity, you do not have what will take you to heaven, then the crusade would have been a waste. Because eternity is longer. Eternity, a hundred years, a thousand years, a million years, a trillion years, forever and ever, eternity is there. That's why we get from the Lord, we get hope, we get help, we get harmony, we get healing, we get health, we get wholesomeness, wholeness. But with all that, we still have to have holiness because it is that holiness that will take you to heaven you will get there you will get there i don't want to be in a religion that only gives me good things happy things great things here on earth and it does not show me the way to get to heaven i'll be wasting my life in that religious circle now point number three god's ordained way of holiness to heaven i'm going there i said i'm going there and with the highway of the lord giving and shown unto us you will get there in jesus name maybe your mansion will be next to my mansion and every day in eternity i'll say i told you i told then you'll say yes you told me and i accepted you are here i am here we'll be there together yeah. we're coming to point number one now god's only way for the hopeless and helpless you know the lord makes the way and he tells us very simple he said this the way what ye therein i'm looking at john chapter 14 and we're looking at verse 6 john chapter 14 verse 6 jesus says unto him i am the way and the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me he told us the absolute truth he told us the unchangeable truth he told us the eternal truth i am the way the way between the sinner and the almighty god to get us reconciled unto god he said i am i am i am the way and if you are going to see life and life eternal you're high or you are low, you are big, or you are small, you are educated, or you are not educated, you are civilized, or you are not civilized, you know book, or you don't know book, you have gone to school, you have not gone to school, you are a father, you are a mother, you are a child, you are a daughter, you are a son, anyone you are, this is the way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, no man, in any place no man whatever the name that he has or the society that he has no man cometh unto the father but by me he has only one way jesus and that jesus is presented to you today and also come through that way through jesus christ and don't take a bypass you don't take another corner jesus is there he stands between man and god and he says come and i so come i will take you take your hand and take you to the father as you do that tonight you will get to god in this world god will be your father 
God will be your redeemer. And then God will write your name in the book of life in heaven. He'll say, that is mine. That is mine. That is mine. And then on the final day, you will be with God forever and ever, forever and ever in Jesus' name. Now, that point number one is God's only way for the hopeless and helpless. Why do we refer to man as hopeless and helpless? Let me take it a little further. Why do we refer to you, descendant of Adam and Eve? Why do we refer to you as hopeless and helpless? Look at Romans chapter 7. Romans chapter 7, I'm reading from verse 15. For that which I do, I allow not. I'm helpless. I'm hopeless. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. That's man. That's man. He has good intention, but he doesn't have good ability to be able to carry it out. He has the knowledge and he knows the revelation that this is the way to live. He cannot live like that because for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that I do not. I know the word. I know the expectation. I know the commandment. I know the right way. But I don't have the strength. I don't have the power. I don't have the ability. I am helpless. And because man is helpless, man is hopeless look at verse 16 in verse 16 there it says if then i do that which i would not i wouldn't even approve of what i'm doing a, there are fathers that will tell their children don't look at me don't do what i do if you do what i do look at the result don't know what I do. Why do they say that? Because they know what they are doing is not their intention. What they are doing is not their plan. There is a power above them. The power of depravity in their lives that they couldn't do what they ought to do. There are mothers that will call their daughters and say, my daughter, I know you know the way I live, you know the way I talk, and you know the places I go, you know the, you know the other people that are into my life apart from your dad. But I want to tell you, my daughter, don't do as I do. Why do they say that? Because they know, they know the right way and the right thing, but they cannot because they are helpless. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Look at verse 17. In verse 17, now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. On the throne of every heart of any man, any woman, sin sits on the throne. Sin controls that life. And sin is the king and the ruler and the tyrant in that person's life. That he cannot just do what he wants to do. Go the way he wants to go. It says sin that dwelleth in me. Look at verse 18 there. In verse 18, for I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me. I take resolutions. I make up my mind. I said I will not do that. But the power to carry that out, I do not have. I know what it means to be righteous, but I'm not righteous. I know what it means to be upright, but I'm not upright. I know what it means to be incorruptible, but I am not incorruptible. There is corruption. Corruption in the life. Corruption in the action, corruption in life in general. It says, What dwelleth in me? No good thing, but to will is present with me. But 
how to perform that which is good i find not the man has not found the way but tonight that only way jesus christ you will find the way of uprightness and the way of salvation and the way of the gospel and the way of the revelation of god from heaven that will lead you from a life of sin to an experience of salvation it will do that tonight look at verse 19 in verse 19 it says for the good that i would i do not but the evil which i would not the evil that i say to other people teach other people instruct other people that they should not do i find that i do it says for the good that i would i do not but the evil which i would not that i do verse 20 verse 20 tells us now if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. That is what Christ, the Savior, the Redeemer, that's what he wants to remove. He wants to remove that weakness of the human nature away from you. He wants to remove that habit of making resolution and making a decision and not able to carry that out because you are hopeless and because you are helpless but tonight hope has come yeah. tonight help has come yeah. or it will get you out of that intricate situation that in your private life you know in your secret life you know all alone by yourself you know the hopelessness the helplessness, the powerlessness, but then you come to Christ with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and say, Jesus, I see that in myself. The way to salvation is not there, but now I know. Now I know that God has sent you to be the only way the only way to salvation and the only way to dominion and tonight salvation is yours yeah. that's all the amen you have over there yeah. amen god bless you dominion will be yours yeah. hope has come yeah. help has come yeah. harmony has come yeah. you see the man who is hopeless the man who is helpless, he does not have the harmony. The head is different from the heart. There's no harmony. The knowledge is different from the ability. There's no harmony. He knows the right thing. He knows the way to go. But there's no harmony to join both the character and the knowledge together. But then... Christ comes to your life tonight. I say Christ comes to your life tonight. Help has come. Hope has come. Harmony has come. All the jigsaws, uh, the jigsaws that have been, and you try to put that together and marry everything together, and there's no harmony, and you don't know. How you put all those pieces together tonight, all the pieces of your life scattered here and there that is having this harmony, helplessness, hopelessness. Christ comes tonight and in a moment of time, everything will come together. Your life will come together. Your destiny will come together. And then you go through this way who is Christ and then everything will be all right in your life everything will be all right in the progress of life that you make everything will be all right in the ability to carry out everything you know and then step by step step by step harmoniously that will be your life everything will come together in jesus name 
Look at Romans chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 8. Romans chapter 10. Reading from verse 8. But what saith it? The word is nigh to you. The word of hope is near you. The word of help is near you and the word of harmony is near you the word is near thee even in thy mouth and in thine heart that is the word of faith which will preach look at verse 9 in verse 9 that if thou shall confess shall profess shall declare with thy mouth the Lord Jesus he is the way and if you will declare and if you will confess and if you'll proclaim that Jesus is my Lord I tried to rule my life I tried to control my life I tried to direct myself but the sin that dwelleth in me did not allow me to have a straight course towards salvation and dominion. But now, if you will come and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I said, thou shalt be saved. Oh, somebody says, why? That person is saved. Why am I not saved? Because you have not confessed with your mouth that you hand over your life to Jesus Christ, that Jesus is your Lord. You have uh, been satisfied with whatever position you hold in a local church, whatever position you hold in a, in a denomination. You are satisfied with that, but you know that the denomination, the church, the fellowship cannot give you the victory. Sin still dwells in everyone. But as you come and you say, Lord, I make you now my Lord. You are my Savior. As young people are taking him as Savior, you, an older person, you take him as Savior. As the husband is taking him as Savior, the wife is taking him as Savior. As the parents are taking him as Savior, you children, you are taking him as Savior. You confess with your mouth, you proclaim with your mouth, you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved look at verse 10 in verse 10 for what the heart man believeth unto righteousness what the heart man believeth not from the head what not with the mind what the heart the deepest part of you with all your heart all your soul with your whole heart that there's no rival to Jesus in your life is the one and the only one, your Savior and Redeemer. With your heart, you believe unto salvation, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Amen in your life today. Yeah. Salvation in your life today. Yeah. Redemption in your life today. Yeah. You take God's only way. For the hopeless and the helpless. Look at number two here. We're looking at number two. God's open way. God's open way to healing and health. God's open way to healing and health. God has made the way. And he has opened the way that you will have healing in your body. Okay, I will have healing in my body. I will have health in my body. I will have wholeness in my body. Healing, health, wholeness. Healing, health, wholeness. It's coming to you tonight. Everything that is broken in your life will be repaired tonight Amen. from the top of your head your brain all the things there the Lord will research everything Amen. your body everything that is swollen there the Lord will correct everything Amen. the pain you have 
in the chest, in the heart, God will repair everything. The kidneys that are not functioning anymore very well, and you have to go to them, they do dialysis, they bring out the blood, purify the blood, get it back. Tonight, healing is coming your way. And then the diabetes, you know, you urinate now, and then 10 minutes again, you run to the restroom, you come back, and 15 minutes again, you run, and you come back, solution has come tonight. And then hepatitis, whatever, the Lord is going to touch you tonight. You, you had that testimony from Lagos cancer, cancer taking away every form of cancer. You know there are various forms of cancer. Sometimes there's cancer in the in the in the brain. In the head. sometimes there's cancer on the armpit. Sometimes there's cancer on the breast. Sometimes there's cancer and it is leukemia in all the blood system. But anywhere that cancer is tonight, the Lord will take it away in Jesus' name. Look at Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35. Chapter 35. I'm reading from verse 4. Isaiah chapter 35. And we're reading from verse 4. It says, Say to them that of a fearful heart, to them that of a fearful heart, hmm, will this sickness kill me from tonight? There's no fear again. Will this, this thing kill so and so and kill so and so for you? As you are here tonight, the Lord has sent the Lord Jesus Christ to perform and perfect your healing. Say to them that of a fearful heart, be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. He will take that sickness as his enemy. He'll trash that sickness he'll conquer that uh, that sickness it will crush that sickness tonight in jesus name even god with a recompense and he will come and save you the devil sent his messenger sickness is he kill him and god says no i'm interested in him it's my son she is my daughter remove your hand from there and satan sickness will remove their hands away from your life tonight in jesus name there's somebody there lying down helpless as if what can i do tonight when i mention the name of jesus upon you strength will come power will come healing will come you will get up i said you will get up because he will come and save you it will come and heal you it will come and deliver you it will come and rescue you it will come and renew your body tonight in jesus name look at verse 5 verse 5 then at that time when the lord comes and he comes to save he comes to heal it comes to deliver it comes to set free then at that time the eyes of the blind will be opened tonight those blind eyes will open and then it says and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped all the deadness of the membrane of those inner parts of the ear everything will get a new re a renewal tonight in jesus name how matthew chapter 8 in matthew chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 16 when the evening was come tonight where we are now is this morning or afternoon or evening the evening of your miracle the evening of your healing the evening of your deliverance the evening of joy 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 jubilation in the house in jesus name when the evening was come they brought unto him uh-huh 
that's the way you have to bring uh, your sick body your sick mind you have to bring your diseased body unto him come through the way it's an open way open way that is open uh, for our healing for our health and for wholesomeness in our lives they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word tonight that word is still as powerful heaven and earth may pass away shall pass away but his word shall not pass away the word of power still here today the word for healing still there today and the word for deliverance still there today he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that was sick how many did he heal and healed all that was sick who are the people inside that all tell me tell me there is no incurable disease before the Lord Jesus Christ all all any sickness any infirmity any disease any demonic power he healed all that was sick look at chapter verse 17 it says in verse 17 uh, that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying uh, himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses how can I explain that to you let me explain this way there's an empty chair maybe beside you or maybe in front of you and then we'll say please uh, carry that chair out of that place and carry it to a place where we will not sit you're strong enough to carry the chair but it's just an ordinary chair look at the chair there and then you carry and then you take it away and you dump it somewhere we cannot see it again if you are powerful enough to carry that chair christ with all power all power in heaven and on earth is given unto him he says he can carry your sickness he can carry your infirmity it can carry that deformity and as easy it is for you to carry the chair so easy even easier for christ to carry all your sicknesses away himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses make it personal himself took my 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 infirmities and bear my sicknesses looks like you are strong already you are well already you are healed already come is the open way to our healing and to our health acts chapter 10 reading from verse 38 acts 10 verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth special anointing unique anointing irreversible irresistible anointing anywhere he went he went with that anointing and no demon was able to stand before him and no disease was able to stand before him how god anointed jesus of nazareth was the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good is going about everywhere all those who are connected with this uh, crusade as we're speaking now it will get to you it will get to you and then those who are here look up look up and look at me those who are here let our eyes match is getting to you tonight he went about doing good healing all that were oppressed of the devil is greater than the devil is mightier than the devil is stronger than the devil whatever the devil has done or is doing in your body he will not play any trick with your body anymore because tonight the lord will heal those who are oppressed of the devil in jesus name for god 
was with him. He was with God. He was on earth at that time. God was in heaven and God was with him. Now, 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 he's going to be with the heavenly father. He's sitting on the right hand of majesty and now he is with God and God is with him. Sicknesses will have no place in your life. Look at Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 13. We're looking at verse 8, Hebrews 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ, our Savior, Jesus Christ, our healer, Jesus Christ, our deliverer, Jesus Christ, our defender, Jesus Christ, the open way to health and healing, Jesus Christ, our shepherd, Jesus Christ that does not want, does not want to see anyone suffer, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday today and tell me forever the power does not abate the love does not decrease and the intention to heal and to deliver that intention and that ability does not decrease because jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever it will do it in your life yeah. tonight will be your night of healing yeah. your night of wellness yeah. and your night of having dominion power authority over every sickness in jesus name yeah. instantaneously at the mention of the name of jesus that healing will come to you that deliverance will come to you because that's how we did it in days gone by and everyone that came to him everyone he came to immediately instantaneously the same hour the healing came to them and if he has not changed as it was yesterday he is today and he is forever you must do it in your life today we're seeing the only way we're seeing the open way now we come to the ordained way look at point number three here god's ordained way of holiness to heaven look at what we have number one we have hope Number two, we have help. Number three, we have harmony. Number four, we have healing. Number five, we have health. Number six, we have wholeness. And now, number seven, we also have holiness. We're well in the body. We're well in the soul. We're well in our spirit. The threefold man, spirit, soul, and body, wholeness will come to you through and through in Jesus' name. Look at Isaiah chapter 35. We're reading from verse 8. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 6. And an highway shall be there. A way. It shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. Ah, what do I do then? I'm unclean. I'm defiled. I'm a sinner. I'm not born again. I'm not converted. And it says the unclean shall not pass over it. I'll explain to you. At the gate of that ordained way, there is the fountain of the blood of Jesus. And as you come there, and you plunge by faith in that fountain of the blood of Jesus, all your uncleanness will be washed away. And tonight, that's what the psalmist said, wash me, purge me, and I shall be whiter 
advance snow. He will wash you tonight and all the uncleanness will be washed away. All the defilement will be washed away. You see, I hate myself for the unclean things I do, the unclean things I say, and the unclean things I get involved with. Because you hate it, you come to the Lord at the gate of the ordained way. You will say, I know your heart. I know your desire. Leave it in my hand tonight. I'll wash you clean. He'll wash you clean tonight. I said he'll wash you clean tonight. And then that uncleanness, everything will vanish away. It says there, but it shall be for those the way fearing men do fools, do fools now understand the language, understand the word, do fools. Everyone, everyone on earth, no matter how wise, how intelligent, is a fool in one area or the other. Take education, for example. Somebody is, uh, you know, well, well learned in mathematics, but is a fool when it comes to biology, when it comes to all those, uh, all those uh, cells of the body and the functions of, is a fool. Even though he knows maths, he does not know the biology. Take somebody who is an engineer and he can construct any road and all that, but as a medical doctor, is a fool. He does not know how to perform any operation, how to dissect this and that. No matter how intelligent one is in one area, he is a fool. Take somebody who is educated in earthly knowledge. But when it comes to salvation, when it comes to redemption, when it comes to getting to heaven, is a fool. He doesn't know. He may know philosophy. He may know uh, that one and that one. But as it concerns the life in Christ, eternal life, how do we get there? He's a fool. Somebody who knows a lot of the history of uh, idolatry and he can say that you know this and that and that and he has all that knowledge of idolatry and he can tell the foundation and the time of cultism came to that part and that part and when he talks he talks like authority but when it comes to how man gets saved and man gets eternal life he knows occultism he doesn't know salvation everyone is a fool one way or the other but the way fearing men do fools I didn't know this before I accept I was a fool I didn't know the way of salvation now I come you will not miss your way. Because tonight, anyone and everyone that will come, the Lord will accept everyone. No matter where you have been, no matter what you have done, no matter the confusion in your life, you will not miss the way of salvation. The ordained way of the Lord, and when He cleanses your life, when He changes your life, when He turns your life around, He gives you that holiness without which no man shall save the lord we don't need to prolong it the lord is here tonight i said the lord is here tonight and everything we need everything you need the lord is going to grant unto you just accept just accept i have been a fool i didn't know there are many things you don't know in your life but now tonight i know i know the only way that's jesus i know the is god's own way that's jesus i know the ordained way to get to heaven i must go through jesus and also give your life to jesus hand over your life to jesus surrender unreservedly unto jesus tonight salvation from heaven will come in your soul and then a healing deliverance from every attack and from every disease is going to set you free tonight in jesus name are you there i said are you there say amen let me hear your own amen it's bowed and eyes closed. I rejoice with you tonight. Today is your day. Tonight is your night. All the helplessness in sin, 
all the hopelessness in sin the Lord has come to give you hope he has come to give you help he has come to forgive your sin he has come to give you the inner strength and the inner power and he has come to take all the uncleanness away out of your life tonight a night of hope a night of help a night of harmony in your life a night of salvation wherever you are this is your night like no other night raise up that hand and say lord I was a place. The things I wanted to do, I couldn't do. The life I wanted to live, I couldn't live. But now, you're my help. You're my hope. You're my savior. Anywhere you are, raise up that hand. That's right. That's right. God bless you. God bless you. And God, turn your life around tonight in Jesus' name. If you're raising up your hand, just take that step of faith and stand up. Stand up for Jesus to save you. Stand up for Jesus to forgive you. Stand up for Jesus to cleanse you in the fountain of the cleansing blood. By faith, you confess him. You profess him. You declare him that he is the Lord of your life and the Lord of your soul, he is the Lord of your personality, that he will continue to direct you and control you from today. Raise up your hand and stand up. And wherever you are in any congregation, in any country, this is the time. Raise up your hand and stand up and say, Lord, here am I. Be my savior tonight. And let my life turn around for the better. Keep standing. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we well, thank you because you have shown us the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The true way of life into the kingdom of God. And I pray for those who have indicated, raise up their hands, and they're standing up, and they want this salvation, forgiveness, freedom, eternal life. Give it to everyone in Jesus' name. I pray they will not perish. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal everlasting life. I pray Lord all these people have indicated and they have handed over their lives unto the lord jesus christ let them have real salvation in jesus name cancel helplessness away from their lives cancel hopelessness away from their lives grant them hope help harmony salvation conversion tonight confirm each in every life lord thank you because we know you have answered in jesus name we pray another amen keep on standing our counselors are there they give you the slip to feel and online every location every every community every congregation in every country do the same like we're doing here and the lord bless you abundantly irreversibly in jesus name we call on our overseer to help us with this counseling i'll be coming back because tonight you're going to have healing health wellness wholeness in jesus name another amen counselors please quickly get to all the those who are standing those who have given their life to Christ tonight, please get across to them. Give the form to those of them who can write. And, and after they have written, check, check it up and know that the information is complete and correct. If you are giving your life to, 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 to Christ tonight, you have taken a very good decision. And you are a very important person in the kingdom of God. Our Father is very happy 
heaven is very happy the angels are happy today is a wonderful day in your life so where you are standing just uh, wait for to the counselors they'll meet you where they are if you're already on television connect with christ on television you can see the link on your screen please click on that on that on, on that link and it will take you straight to us here a father in the Lord would like to hear from you he has made arrangement for follow-up so that you'll be able to continue in Christ there's a number you can send the message to. The WhatsApp number is plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Take the number again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two. Six three. There be combat rally for those online. It's going to be on the eighth of May. This May twenty. That's next Sunday, May twenty twenty two, May eight. So you can join online. For those of us here in Alpha location, don't forget. That is connect with Christ physically at the Edwin Hall, that uh, cream hall there, just across the road there. 3 p.m. tomorrow. Make sure you are there. Don't forget what her father has said. Tonight is a special night. Healing will get to you tonight. Miracle for everyone. Uh, I'm sure somebody there will be the first person to testify. Maybe around there. Maybe here. As you hear the final amen, your miracle is right there with you. Counselors, I'm waiting for you. Signal to me when you are true. I hope we are all everywhere there. As soon as you are true, wave your hand to me. I'll be able to see it, and then because the time of miracle is very close now. If you bring any blind person, stand by that person. After the final amen, ask him to look up. He will see the light. He will see the people. And when he says, I can see, I can see, you shout hallelujah and bring him to the front so that he can testify. Then I want to say this. Don't go anywhere until after we have listened to testimonies you know why in other places where the man of god has ministered we have seen a case where while testimonies are going on healings are taking place deliverance are taking place people are getting their own miracle right there confirmed but if you rush home how are you going to get your own this program is for you complete dominion and it's not going to be complete until tomorrow. And for you, it's not complete until you get your own miracle. So tonight, let nobody go anywhere. Just stay. Why we are saying check up, check up. You are already checking up yourself because, because your miracle is closer to you now. I can assure you this is a night of, uh, of joy and gladness and rejoicing in the presence of the Lord. The man of God has assured us the anointing power of God is present and you will be a recipient of that miracle tonight by the grace of God. Counsel us, I'm waiting for you. Signal to me if you have finished the uh, taking of all the names. Just signal to me. I'm waiting for you. Give me a signal that you have already completed the assignment. Please check the telephone number. 11 digits, 11 digits. Check it very well. If it is 10, it's not complete. If it is 12, it is wrong. It must be 11 digits. 
except the R234, then it will be 10 digits plus 234. So check it very well. Counselors, I'm waiting for you, supervisors. From my right hand side here, have you finished there? I'm still waiting to see the signal. In the middle here, far back there, at, at the Yoruba station, wave your hand at me if you are finished. You can see my hand here, wave your own. So I can know you are finished. At the language section there, the same thing. Check up, finish up, and let us move forward now. And I know your miracle is very near you, but be praying now. Begin to tell God. Mention your problem. Mention your difficulty. Mention the challenge you are facing. And tell God that tonight is my night. Begin to pray in readiness. Supervisors, we are waiting for you. Signal to me you have concluded the, the accreditation very quickly. Those on my left hand side here. I'm waiting to see your hand. Supervisors, please indicate very quickly that you are true with the, with the counseling, their name, their address, their telephone number. And those of you have, who have decided tonight for Christ, don't, don't forget tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the building across the road there, the cream uh, upstairs there, there you can call, you need to come there for special banquet with all those who have given their life to christ something special is waiting for you there supervisors i have not seen any any signal that you are through please quickly if i cannot see your hand come nearer and wave your hand to me from the middle whole row here i know there are many people tonight all the same we should do a thorough job this side Please quickly indicate. Anybody on this side? Can, uh, supervisor, whether you are, you are finished? In the middle here, at the back there. Okay, I've, uh, I've seen there in the middle. You are finished there. How about this side? Okay, wonderful. At the far, at the far end there, are you through there? Are you through there? Are you through there at the far end by my left? Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The man of God is ready now with the power of God to touch you tonight. Tonight, the blind will see. Amen. If you can stand up, please stand up. The time of healing. The time of wellness, the time of wholeness in your life. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, tell me, and forever. He did it in the past, he's doing it today, he'll confirm it in your life. Every form of sickness will vanish away. Every disease will vanish away. Every infirmity will vanish away. And all those oppressions of the enemy in your body, all those manipulations of the enemy in your body, today the Lord will put an end to it. Look at yourself now. Those evil things that you see today, you will not see them anymore in Jesus' name. In the head, in the throat, in your body, in your bone, every part of your body, the Lord is ready for you now. A miracle is coming your way. Healing is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. As you believe, after the final amen, you confess with your mouth, you believe in your heart, and you will see your manifestation. 
I will see my manifestation. Testimony there. Testimony there. Testimony there. And the Lord will confirm your healing tonight, your miracle tonight, in Jesus' name. Lay your hand where you have the challenge or the problem. And raise up the other hand with great expectation that what he has said, he will perform. And when you hear that final amen, the miracle is ready there with you. It's ready for you now, ready for you now. Get ready, Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you tonight because we have faith in you, trust in you, confidence in you that what you have promised, we're persuaded you are able also to do. And therefore, Lord, I pray you spot out everyone needing a miracle that needs a healing, that needs deliverance, effect it and perform it in everyone tonight in Jesus' name. The big problem, madness, insanity, demonic possession, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Every form of swelling in your body, goiter, fibroid, elephantiasis, near, I command right now, swelling, come out in Jesus' name. Weakness of the body, tiredness in the body, and respiratory problem. Lord, I pray here and every other place, touch them, heal them now in Jesus' name. That pile I command be healed now in Jesus' name. Kidney problem be healed in Jesus' name. And all the lungs that have that problem, I pray the water that is inside there, Lord, I pray you dry up the water there now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, the arthritis and the pain of arthritis, I pray you clear everything away. Touch them now. The joints that are painful, Lord, I pray, touch them, heal them in Jesus' name. That short leg, in the name of the Lord Jesus, grow out right now. Paralysis, be healed in Jesus' name. Stroke, be healed in Jesus' name. Back pain, you can't bend, you can't rise up again. I pray the Lord will touch you now. Be healed in Jesus' name incurable disease that is said in the hospital there's nothing that can be done and maybe they even give you the time when you will pack and then go i pray the lord will reverse everything i pray lord incurable disease will be healed right now touch them turn their lives around heal them in jesus name I pray, Lord, whatever the problem, whatever the situation, everywhere to my right, to my front, to the back, to the front there, and to the left, and over the radio, over the television, online, everywhere, power manifestation, power demonstration, and the operation of the gifts of the Lord in their lives, in Jesus' name. For everyone, as we open our eyes now, those blind eyes will see. The deaf will hear. The dumb will speak. Confirm it in every life. Lord, confirm it in every life. Lord, confirm it in every life. And let there be testimony for that person, for that person, for that person, even now, in Jesus' name. It is done. It is done for you, in you, on your body. It is confirmed in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We now have testimony for everyone. In Jesus' name, I pray.